like it is February, it's the third week in February, we can't call this a new year anymore because this year is just moving so fast. Um, in the video last month, I spoke about the design of the knitted top that had the lace at the back. She is finished and I have worn her once. Let me show you something. This is the front, plain, 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 just stocking stitch. And the back has got the lace on and the lace is creeping towards the front. There you can see it makes a nice line towards the front. So it's, it's not in the front really, it's just coming around here at the bottom like that. So it's not necessary to wear a camisole or anything, I, I don't think so. But she is lovely. Um, I made this top with the L cotton. I don't have a ball with me anymore. It was L cotton and um, it washed very nicely when I was finished with it. And um, it dried very nicely, no problem. Here's the thing. I worn it only once for four hours. This cotton pulls worse than merino yarn. I'm shocked and very disappointed and I'm actually quite pissed about it. But it's okay, I will remove the, um, the, the pulling with a lint remover. Yeah, but I'm, I'm quite shocked. In, with all the cotton that I've used up till now to make tops with, I never had pulling this bad on cotton not what so no the price of the cotton of L is wonderful but the um, quality not that great so I won't buy that again but the top is lovely she wears really nicely I'm very impressed with the lace that's creeping towards the front now in last month's video I said that maybe we should have a competition to choose a name for the pattern and then that person will get the pattern for free some people didn't wait for the competition to come out. They just posted their comments on the YouTube video, which I'm very happy about. And what's her name? Elaine Peters. Elaine Peters said, the breeze at my back. And when I read that, I was like, that's the one. So Elaine, you must please contact me. I would like to give you the pattern for free. It's coming out today. I've just taken photos of the top and um, the pattern will be released later on today. If you are one of my Patreon subscribers, obviously by now you know you should watch your inbox. You will have a discount code to get the pattern for free. Okay, so that's the, the top done and dusted. She's out of the way. The lock cabin patchwork cowl is starting on the 1st of March. Um, if you want to know what it looks like, you can either go to my Instagram or to my Facebook page. They are plastered all over the place in all the kit colors. This is a, a crochet blanket that's done in one piece. But it looks as if it is different blocks that you've joined together afterwards. It's done in a lock cabin fashion. Now, a lock cabin means that you will crochet a block or knit or whatever or quilt it. And then you will put a piece there and you will turn and you will put a piece over there and you will turn and you will put a piece there because here is now something and you keep doing that while this thing is expanding so we did that but with traditional log cabin your logs are normally the same height and the same pattern but I've thrown that out of the window and I've broken some of the locks into pieces. So one lock will have two blocks, maybe even three blocks, different colors, different stitch patterns. So it looks like you've done a bobette, and, but there's none of the sewing together afterwards. Well, there is a little bit. You make four big blocks and you join these four big blocks if you want to make a big blanket for a double or a queen size bed. But it's not all those little blocks that stack up and you look at them and you think, oh my word, I still have to sew those things together. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So, 
The log cabin is starting on the 1st of March. You can already buy the pattern on Ravelry. For the moment, the pattern is available at $5. It's a 50% discount. You will see that all my blankets on Ravelry are $10 because it's a hell of a lot of work to um, do a design like that. So it is available for 50% discount until the end of February. As from the 1st of March, the price will go up to $10. That's the normal price and um, the cow will start then. So how does it work? If you buy the pattern today on Ravelry, you will only get the information sheet as a download. And then once the call start, on the 1st of March, you will get an email from Ravelry saying to you that there's an update on the pattern and you, can, you will get a link as well. You can click on the link, download the new file and the first part of the pattern will be there. And on a weekly basis that will continue. We're going to release every week. I think the 1st of March is a Wednesday, I think. Where's my calendar? Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, the 1st of March is a Wednesday, so we're going to release a new piece of the pattern every Wednesday. That's nice, then the weekend is ahead and you, you have nice time to spend on the new piece. And um, the cull is running over eight weeks. So by the end of March, April, by early May, the cull will be finished and you will be done. So it's it's looking great and the kits are beautiful. There's a bluish kit that's called Cabin by the Lake. There's a greenish brownish kit that's called Cabin in the Forest. There's a pink and purple kit with a little bit of green in that's called um, Cabin in the Flower Fields. Um, there's one with neutral colors or natural colors rather. Um, that is the cabin in the winter wonderland and then there's the cabin by the fair which is obviously mine bright and cheerful and boho and what have you. The kits are available from a freak yarn um, now already and um, yeah I'm very excited about the cull. I think it's going to be great and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's um, everybody's projects. Now I had an email this morning that I was quite upset about um, somebody emailed and called me and Moya skanky for selling the yarn and the pattern the pattern should be free and uh, you know it's one of two things thinking that all designers should work free of charge is an old-fashioned idea I need to buy food just like you do I need to put petrol in my car just like you do I need clothing and a roof just like you do so we need to charge how else are we gonna make an income we do this because we love it but we also do it because we want to make an income surely you're not gonna be willing to work for free so why should the designers work for free it's either that old-fashioned or it's this new thing that everybody thinks they're entitled to everything. It's a sense of entitlement. I should have free stuff all the time. All the designers should design for free just for me. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm, I'm not quite... I think I'm... I'm offended at being called skanky. Now, if you don't know what skanky is, it's somebody that's got a low-quality character. Um, it's, it's a dishonest person. It's, no, no, I'm not skanky. So, the cow is starting on the 1st of March and I'm looking forward to it. So, please go buy your patterns now and buy your kits as well. If you are a Patreon supporter, you get the pattern for free. You should have it already in your inbox. It was given long ago. And you will also get a discount on the yarn if you want it. If you want it, you need to contact me and I will get a discount code just for you that will be available and valid for one purchase only and you will get some discount on the yarn. Great, so what am I doing now? The old Erin Caress blanket, I spoke about it last month as well. I made the blanket um, but at that stage we had um, a canopy bed and because the mattress goes into a, a wooden casing 
I literally made the blanket just big enough to sit on top of the mattress. And now we don't have the bed anymore because my son was nagging me for that bed for years and eventually I just said, oh, for heaven's sake, take the damn bed. And he took the bed and everything with it and I've got a normal bed now. So now my blanket is too small. It doesn't look that nice. So it's now been downgraded to the spare room. The spare room has got a normal double bed. I've got a king size extra length because my husband has got these long legs. And I need another blanket. So I decided I'm going to knit another one. I'm doing it again in Moya Erin Caress. Double strand. So it's nice and thick. It's, it's delicious, I tell you. And we're doing cables again. I love knitting cables. I really do. Since I was a child, I love knitting cables. So I will give you a sneak peek of one panel. We're going to do it in panels because it's easier. Because knitting a blanket in one piece, my word, no, your poor wrists and your arms. No. So this is the one panel. So this panel is going to be different lengths. We are going, or I am going to write the pattern for a baby blanket, which is about 1.4 by 1.2. It's a nice big size baby blanket. Um, a square small blanket, 1.5 by 1.5, something in that direction, more or less. Um, a, a single bed blanket, a double bed, uh, a queen size and a king size and a king size extra length. So there's a lot of sizes to choose from and um, it's going to take me a couple of months, I think, because this yarn is thick and my hands have got a bit of arthritis in. So I'm using the sore hands remedy again all the time to keep knitting. And um, I'm very excited about this one, I have to tell you. I think the texture on this is just absolutely lovely. It's thick, but it's um, what's nice about this. And you want to know why I choose this yarn. Moya Caress is what I call a winter cotton. It is lovely to use in South Africa in the winter because it's, it, because it's a textured yarn. It has spaces where air pockets get caught. So it's more, it's warmer than normal cotton. So um, this is ideal for a blanket on a bed. And um, although I don't use this in the winter on my bed, I like a feather duvet, a down duvet, but this is lovely in the summer and in the autumn. It's not hot, um, it's not too flimsy, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't feel as if you're in a sauna, it's cotton, so it, it keeps you nice and cool in the summer months. Yet you don't feel naked with nothing on top of you. I love a nice, nice cotton blanket in the summer. The other thing that's nice about this, regardless of how big this blanket is, my other one goes to the laundromat services once a month. They pick it up, they wash it, they dry it, and they bring it back to me because my washing machine is not big enough anymore. They've got these big industrial machines. You can chuck it into the washing machine. You can chuck it into the tumble dryer on hot. And every single time, Moya's cotton will come out fat and fluffy like new. You don't have to bother. You don't have to hassle drying it flat in the shade. None of that, none of that. Chuck it in the washer, chuck it in the dryer, and off you go. So... This one is for the knitters. The lock cabin patchwork curl is for the crocheters. So this one will come later in the year. I'm not sure when. I'm not going to put a date now already. We've just started. So it's going to take me a while to, to get it done because I've got a big bed. And um, yeah, then we will take photos. And in between all of that, I will be making tops and jerseys because it's past the middle of February so pretty soon we will go into autumn and I've got lovely yarns in my stash that I bought last year already that I still have to use and most of those are color spun. I've got yarns from Donna from color spun. I know I've got sock weight, I've got mohair lace, I've got double knit merino 
Um, I've got Aaron Cotton that I'm going to blend with mohair silk again. So I've got lovely yarns in my stash for this winter. So I will be making tops in between all of this. But yeah, for the rest of my Slow Saturday, I am going to be sitting and I'm going to be knitting. There's nice rugby on this afternoon. So I will park in front of the TV with my knitting and just enjoy the day. And tomorrow it's going to be a slow day as well. My husband's working. So I will be... Um, knitting the entire day away in front of the tv watching all the shows that i've recorded that he doesn't like so that will be my slow weekend never mind just a slow saturday great um was there something else i spoke about patreon mm -hmm. i think that's all i really do yeah i think that's all um i hope you're gonna have a great month I will see you with another podcast on the third Saturday of March, which will be the what? I don't know what the date will be. Let's go to March. The third Saturday in March will be the 18th. Then I will have another podcast and I will probably be able to show you a little bit more of the new Erin Blanket. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Got lots of time to think about it. Yeah. Something else. The cotton for this blanket is a lot. It's a lot of cotton. The blanket is expensive. Not because it's expensive fiber such as merino or whatever. It's expensive because it consumes a lot of fiber. It's a yarn gobbler. And I know many people will say I'm not going to pay that much for a blanket okay I understand that we are different and we can be different but for me I will not pay this much to make a blanket for somebody else but for my own bed I surely will you know what we deserve good things in life as well we work hard being parents being spouses we work at our careers we work all the time and seldom do we afford ourselves a bit of luxury it was always so funny to me my mother and my ex-mother-in-law both lived through the Great Depression and they came out of it substantially different my mother had a thing of if she had the money and if she didn't need the money for anything else she could buy herself something nice because why not she works hard for the money my mother-in-law on the other hand no such thing she had this thing of i know what it's like to be poor and i will wear everything until it's full of holes and falling off my body i don't know i suppose there's a midway somewhere in between the two i don't know but I tend to go the way my mother has gone. If I've paid everything that I have to pay this month and I've looked after my household, surely I can afford myself something nice, be it a back massage, a pedicure, or I can save it up for a couple of months and buy myself a kit for a big, big blanket for my bed because why not? I'm going to sleep under it and I deserve to have a nice blanket on my bed because it's my bed. And I work damn hard for my money. So yeah. Um, don't just look after the people around you. Look after yourself as well. Make time for yourself. Make time to do the things that you love to do. Make time to eat the food that you love to eat. And make time to spoil yourself now and then. Because you deserve it. We are just not... Oh, other way around we are not just mothers we are not just spouses we are not just fathers we are human beings and we need to nurture ourselves physically mentally emotionally we need to look after ourselves so that we can have a fulfilling life we don't just have to exist we need to live 
and for me part of living is knitting a big fat blanket for my bed for me that is luxury it's something that i made with my hands and it's going to give me amazing pleasure for years and years and years when it's on my bed great i will see you again in march i hope you've bought your pattern yet and please stop moaning at designers for charging a measly five dollars for a pattern and calling them skanky is totally off limit i mean like whatever right i hope you enjoy your weekend i will get over my offense in a little while and um, i will see you next month and then i will be able to show you more so please take part in the call please order your kit from where they need the money please buy the pattern i need the money actually i think people that want everything for free they are skanky yeah yeah let's do it like that elaine elaine peters contact me so that i can give you a copy of the pattern for free cheers everybody i'll see you next next month next month bye